On March 17th, 2018, the Meta Game Jam was announced. A small game dev named Mike McGonagall hears about this and decides he's gonna make a game for this game jam. He develops Baldi's Basics in Education and Learning in just two weeks, releases it, and it gets second place in the Meta Game Jam. Then the game starts blowing up with a bunch of YouTubers playing it and tons of cool mods being made for the game. The game is a parody of 90s edutainment games, with one of the biggest inspirations being Sonic School house, which I made a video about, go watch it. In the game, you enter Baldi's schoolhouse and have to collect seven notebooks. It looks pretty normal until, while collecting the second notebook, you get this problem, which is impossible to answer. After getting the answer wrong, Baldi becomes extremely angry and begins chasing you with a ruler. If you don't collect the seven notebooks and escape in time, Baldi will catch you and you die. Game over. On July 24th, 2018, right as the game was blowing up, Micah McGonagall would announce a Kickstarter for a full version of the game, with tons of new features added. One of these new features added to the game would be the ability to go on field trips. And he posted a demo that would showcase these field trips a little bit, which a bunch of YouTubers ended up playing. Around this time, the game would also reach its one year anniversary, with Micah McGonagall releasing a special version of the game called Baldi's Basics One Year Birthday Bash. In this version of the game, every character wore party hats, and every item was randomized. This version also had a different ending, which is really weird. The game's Kickstarter would end up reaching its goal and would end on August 23rd, 2018. 18, and Micah McGonagall would immediately launch into developing the game. On August 13th, 2019, the Baldi's Basics full game public demo was released. And later, on November 5th, 2019, another demo would be released, this time exclusive to the people who backed them on Kickstarter. On March 31st, 2020, another demo would release, this time being the Challenges demo, which showcases a few of the challenge maps that would be featured in the full game. On June 12th, 2020, the game would finally release, with the name being Baldi's Basics Plus, since it's Baldi's Basics plus all the new stuff added. However, the game would release in early access, meaning it still had plenty of updates to go through. I bought the game when it came out for $10, and back then it was a little bare bones, however the game has been updated a lot since then, and in my opinion is really really good right now. The game now has randomly generated levels, meaning that you're not playing the same map over and over again, so the game has way more replayability than it used to. Another cool feature is the shop you can go to in between levels to buy items. While playing the game, you can collect points, which you can use to buy these items in the shop. The character in the shop is named Johnny. Originally, the shop was basically just like a standard, you know, like still image, but now it's an actual, you know, place you can walk around in, which looks a lot better. There's also some new characters, such as Dr. Reflex, who's a character who's animated in stop motion, which is awesome. I've always had a soft spot for stop motion stuff because I used to make stop motions. They are all, of course, privatized now, but if you want to see them, maybe I'll post them someday. There is also an outside area now, which was something thing I always wanted in the original game, but we never got, so it's cool to finally be able to, you know, walk outside. There's also another new character named Beans, who will spit gum at you, which can make you walk extremely slowly for a little bit. You can also now collect bus passes to go on field trips, but these field trip minigames are much different from the ones that appeared in the camping demo back when the Kickstarter was first announced. They also redesigned Baldi's bus, which I think looks a lot better now. Also, the You Can Think pad from the original game, where you would answer math problems has been removed. In some levels, you just collect the notebooks and don't have to answer a math problem, while in others, you have to pick up these little number balloons and place them on this math machine, as they call it. Kind of like how you picked up numbers and put them on the chalkboard in Sonic Schoolhouse, which is probably where he got the inspiration from. There's also two different versions of the B soda item now for some reason. If you don't remember, the B soda was a can of soda that you could spray at Baldi to push him back. And now there's the regular B soda and the diet B soda, although I haven't noticed any difference in using them. So far, Baldi's Basics Plus is looking like a really good game, and when it completely gets finished, I'm very excited to play it. But just because we're done talking about Baldi's Basics Plus doesn't mean it's the end of the video, no no no. Because during the development of Baldi's Basics Plus, Micah McGonagall began to work on Baldi's Basics Classic Remastered. Baldi's Basics Classic Remastered is a full remastered version of the original Baldi's Basics. It also includes 
includes the birthday bash mode, as well as a demo mode showing off some of the features in Baldi's Basics Plus. I imagine to entice more people to buy that game. One of the best new features in this remastered version, in my opinion, is a cheat code you can enter, which makes the game look like it was actually a game made in the 90s. It's actually hilarious. But that's the history of Baldi's Basics up until now. Currently, version 0.7 of Baldi's Basics Plus is out, and it's really good. Maybe I'll make an update to this video when the game is fully finished, or maybe I won't, I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.